Hi friends! Today's quest is a spiky-eared Pichu egg cake, or what I like to call pancake muffin, from the Pokemon cookbook. Now, as far as I know it, this dish doesn't actually exist anywhere in the Pokemon universe. It's more like a tribute to what is a really cute Pokemon. Now let's get cooking. So the reason I'm calling this a pancake muffin is that it's essentially pancake mix with a little bit of sugar and a couple of extra ingredients put into muffin tins and then you're going to steam the muffins. Um, I'm not even really changing the recipe in any meaningful way because I actually think it tastes really good as it is. So, alrighty. First up we're going to take our eggs into our bowl. Boom and our sugar into the bowl. Okay, now let's whisk these up. Get these nice and combined. Okay, whisk, 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 whisk. Okay. Then we'll add our milk. And our oil. Like I said, this is super similar to any recipe on the back of a pancake box. So get those combined. The only real meaningful difference is the sugar. So combine, 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 combine. Alrighty. Last but not least, in goes the pancake mix. Boom, just like that. Okay, whisk. And really, these taste, I think, really good as is. I don't really think you need to do much to this uh, recipe at all. So, and it's super easy to mix up. One of the things I really like about the Pokemon cookbook is that it's actually geared toward kids. So if you have a kid, this is something you could make with them really easily. Um, just in a couple of minutes, really. Okay, so give it a little bit more. Okay, and then so that we can really get that yellow Pichu color, we are going to be adding a couple drops of food coloring. Now, as I'm sure most of you already know, Pichu is the first form and eventually evolves into Pikachu. And then after that, you get Raichu. So we are making a little baby, Pichu, who is just too cute. All right, so now it is nice and yellow, mixed up a couple of lumps, but who cares? It's just pancake mix, it'll be fine. A little bit of lump in there. All right, so you'll see it looks nice and yellow. Now I have already um, lined out a couple of tins. I found it was just a lot easier to pour the mixture into the tin if it was in a muffin pan. I would have made a mess otherwise, so let's just go ahead and pour that in. Still messy, but at least it's not on the counter. Now, the next step involves putting these into a uh, double boiler if you have one, or a steamer if you have one. Um, I'm actually going to be using just a pot uh, with some water in the bottom, rack on top, uh, because I don't own those, and letting them steam for just a couple of minutes. So, let's get that going. So first we're gonna put down our pan with some water in it. And I'm gonna use this egg thing that I used to boil eggs. So I'm just gonna use that as a stand. So that goes into the pot as well. We turn up the heat. Once the water seems hot enough, we will actually go ahead and put these in. We don't want it to already be at a boil, otherwise we'll burn our hands off. So very carefully, we are going to put all four of these in there. Okay. 
Once all four are in there, we'll put the lid back on, set a timer, and wait for them to steam. Okay, so it is time to take them out. We'll turn off the heat, obviously open up our pot, and I'm gonna use the tongs to take these out because I find that a lot easier. Um, really the only way that works for me is actually use the tongs. So we'll take all four of them out and let them cool. All right, now comes the fun part where we actually get to make our little peachy face. Now, I am not artistic, so if I can do this, I definitely think that you can do this too. So first, we just need to cut two very small, thin pieces. Now with our ears, we are going to cut a little diagonal shape with them. Okay, now we got our two ears. What we are going to do is put our stencil down. Now if you had a paintbrush or something, that's probably simpler, but seeing as this is for kids, I'm just going to use my finger. For the eyes, we're going to use raisins. Now I'm going to use end of a chopstick for the cheeks, and then I'll use other chopstick for a little nose. All right, and there you have it. There is Pichu, Pichu pancake muffin. It is finally time for the taste test. So I am going to try an ear first. Mm. It's really good. Even with the cocoa powder on there, it's not too bitter, so you can still enjoy it. It's not just decoration. Um, but our Pichu looks really sad now. One-eared Pichu. It really is like a pancake muffin. It's got the taste of a pancake, a little bit sweeter, so like a pancake with powdered sugar on it, imagine, but in a nice compact muffin shape form, right? So it's so easy to eat. Mm. The texture is really nice. I think mine could have cooked a little bit less. I think it actually deflated a little bit. And it would probably steam better if I actually had a proper steamer as well. But it doesn't impact the taste whatsoever. This is totally delicious and took less than, you know, 30 minutes probably to do. Mm. You've got to give this one a try. So what do you think? Would you be willing to eat a Pichu pancake muffin? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Until next time.